In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how you can make a duplicate of your project, uh, bring it back into Godot as an individual project so that you can maybe try out a new idea or a feature that could potentially break things, and that way you've always got a previous version to go back to. This is sort of a, a hacky way of doing version control. Um, obviously, you could use a proper product like Git or some other versioning system to help you manage this as well. Uh, but this is a really quick and easy way of doing this, just for one-offs here and there. So the first thing, of course, is to find your project. So if you don't remember where you saved your project, the folder, the easiest way is once you're in there to come to the resources or the, the res. This is the root of your project. So if you right click on there, you'll see an option to open in the file manager. Now I am running this on a Windows machine for recording. Um, the process is the same for a Mac machine, um, but you might see obviously some differences uh, between how you manage your files, but I'm sure you'll be able to work that out. So if I do open in file manager, it should open up a window for my file browsing. And you can see I'm in the root directory of my um, game and if I look carefully and I'll just minimize this sorry for a second just to make it look a little bit more similar um, if I do compare the two you can see the similarities so here is the resources or the root of my folder system within Godot and I've got an art folder a fonts a scenes a scripts and this icon.svg image and if I look at the folder that was opened up for me I can see basically the same thing there are, however, a couple of extra files being shown in the file browser, and that is specifically the project file for Godot, um, the import file for this particular icon, and this extra .godot file, which is hidden within the program itself, but it's a very important file. Now, everything here makes up the project, so it's very, very important that I get everything that is part of this. So what I'm actually going to do is go one step back. And this is where there'll be a slight difference between what I do here in the video on a Windows machine and how you do things maybe on a Mac. But basically, I want to go one level up. So I really want to come, in my case, to this folder called Dodge the Creepers. That's what I'm inside of at the moment. This is inside of that. So I'm going to move one level up using this option on my machine. And here I can see Dodge the Creepers 2024. That was the folder that has everything inside. So if I again open that folder, that's what I was seeing previously. So in whatever method you need to, move one level up. Now the easiest thing at this point is simply to copy and paste or otherwise duplicate this particular folder. So if I do that now, just a simple copy and paste, and I'm going to just get rid of 2024 for a second and leave the word copy to make it clear, I now have an exact copy of this directory. Now to bring it into Godot, however, I need to go back to the program and I need to go back to the home screen. So from the project menu, I'm going to quit back to the project list. And that brings me back here to my project manager. Now the only project I currently have is to Dodge the Creeps 2024. What I'm now going to do is import the copied version. So instead of creating a new uh, project, I'm going to come here to import. So choosing import lets me have a file browser basically, and I'm going to go and find that location where I had saved that duplicate file, or that duplicate folder, sorry. So for me, that is in my C drive, it is in my projects folder, and here it is here, Dodge the Creepers, copy. If I open that folder, you'll see there is a project file. Okay, that project file is what we're looking for. So if I just say select the current folder, that's what I want. It's the directory. It's giving me a green tick, which says it's, it's looking good. I'm going to import and edit. And that has now opened up for me a copy of my project, which is exactly the same as what it was before. But of course, it is running from that new folder. And so now this is a version of the game that is exactly the same as at the time I copied it but I, I can now go ahead and modify this one and I've still got an original copy. If I go back to my project list, you'll see, and I'll just save and quit, you'll now see that I have two versions. They're both called Dodge the Creepers 2024 because that is the name of the game, but you can see in their paths here, 
one is going to 2024 folder and one is going to the copy folder of course i can rename those games so they are clearer but i now have two separate versions that i can modify independently